commercial property, for lack of a better term, because we're renting out multiple units, but most people value commercial property based on the income it produces. The testimony I have from him, by written testimony, is that it's a negative cash flow. So, you know, the overall thumb was 10 times gross, but I don't know what the gross is. But it, considering that he's willing to accept the price of $400,000, it's what he feels the value is. I think it's a reasonable amount. Of I know you guys don't do this, but this truly is something that crawls out to be looked at, uh, price out to be looked at. And maybe if you want a part of your meeting, let's call it up on a Google Earth or something. These properties are not in the best condition. They don't generate a lot of cash. And right now they're not generating less because of the moratorium on eviction. There is at least... Um, uh, uh, Michael Reiner just entered the uh, meeting. I don't know if that's your client. He is not. Um, okay. There's at least one person that's not paying the rent, and there may be others. Um, Mr. Rubin, Mr. Rinaldi's sister is ill. She's actually acts as a de facto property manager. She couldn't be here tonight. It's a little bit of a tough situation for both of them. But I like you to consider a the condition of the property, its history. And his willingness to at least accept seven years down the line that the property is only deteriorated by this, you know, the town admits that they condemn they condemn 20 percent of what he bought. Um, the value of these places is on in, in the context of this appeal. And I really don't have anything other to add, but like I say, I know it's not normal, but this is something really good, something really for looking at. It's a very unique, unfortunately, a little bit of a rundown property, most of which is not usable. With that, I have nothing else. Yeah. Thank you so much. So we will notify the taxpayer by mail. Would you also make sure that I get a copy of the notice, please? Reiner, are you with someone? I have uh, four appeals starting at quarter of eight. Are you the attorney? Yes. Oh, we don't have any. You should have an authorization from the owner to the Joseph C. Sansone Company and from the Joseph C. Sand Company to me. Yes, we do. Okay. We David Johnson? I'm sorry? Who is David Johnson? David Johnson is uh, a member of Joseph C. Sansone Company. So the, the owner originally gave them the uh, authorization and then Sansone gave the authorization to me. So you're part of Sansone? I am not. I'm a, an attorney in Farmington, Connecticut. So you're... Ryan, I don't have that this attorney was um, authorized to talk about this or represent this taxpayer. You don't have what? Ryan? You, do, you don't have an authorization to me? Not by, no, I just have David Johnson. I didn't have that you were going to be representing the taxpayer. Um, well, uh, I'm looking at one authorization to appeal that was sent as 
part of the whole package that they sent to you. Um, I can certainly send you the authorizations if you uh, give me an email address. I'm happy to, to send the authorizations to you. If you don't have them, I, I this is the first hearing that I've had that that the authorizations weren't in the file because they're sent in with the packet for each of the four properties. And authorizations were sent to the assessor, you're saying? No, it's sent in, it, it should be part of the whole package that was sent in to the BAA when it was, don't, do you have an analysis for each property that shows an income approach and, a, and a, a, um, some, some comps? Well, the agent authorization, I guess. Well, that's it. If you read it, you'll see that it says authorization to appeal agent certif certification. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you read it, it's Joseph C. Sansone is authorizing green law to appear. I have that, but I don't have you per se. Well, I'm a member of green law. Okay, we'll hear you then. You have 10 minutes, please. I'm sorry? Mr. Um, are you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Whoever else spoke, I couldn't hear. We are ready to hear you. Madam Chairman, that's Attorney Reiner. He is a principal at Green Law. So um, yeah, you might have a technical problem with him being able to hear. I, I just encourage you to get closer to the microphones so he can hear you. Michael, are you able to hear them? Attorney Reiner, are you able to hear them? No, I'm not. I'm. I can only hear you now, Brian. But okay. I could. I. It, I could make it real easy. I, I. In the packet, is our our all the information. I would just be reciting what's there, which is there's an income analysis, and there's a sales comparison, and you know, they they can look at everything at their leisure and then notify me. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you very much. If I could get a copy as it says in the authorization, that'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Yes, Madam Chairman. May I please we, make a motion to deny all these properties all at once, or do I have to list them? I would list all four. You can have a motion for all of them, uh, but I would, uh, on the record, just specify which properties you're referring to. I'm going to make a motion to deny the taxpayer of David Johnson. No. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is Joseph Cancel and his company that represent them and the attorney right here. Then there's Diamond Alexa Enterprises, Dineski Lawrence, Lawrence Dineski, Lawrence Dineski again, Sunlight Realty. Mm -hmm. Make the motion to deny all properties. I'll second that motion. All in favor? All right. Three to zero, denying the taxpayer. Uh, David Johnson. David Johnson. Ronaldo. was the one that did not correct if you Oh, we're going to do right. So we're going to discuss. I mean, we're going to. What? What? No. Real quick. Yeah, this could be coming out. This book is good. You want to do this? But this could be coming out. You do have to. West Point Park, we're going to make a motion on the John Rinaldi property. I'll make a motion to deny the appeal on, on 360 Roosevelt Drive in a little second. Second. All in favor? Aye. So no. three to zero. So now we can discuss. No. We voted? Yeah. Three to zero. So no. So you're opposed? Opposing. So two. I thought we had discussion after this. No, because. Yeah. 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 Down and all to deny, you know, to deny it is to make the motion. Well, the motion to deny. deny. So, one opposed to speak to deny. Then we discuss. I don't think we can discuss if we have two to the one, right? Yeah, we already decided. We made a motion to deny. Right. Now, do we want to discuss now anything discuss. about this motion? So now we discuss it. Now we discuss. Now we discuss. Now we go. Okay, so. Go ahead, make sure we talk about it. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I, I just think that this is a condemnment. I think it continues more than the cottages. There's nothing to do now. Well, and, 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 and a friend of mine walked in there. Well, he was going to present the guests. But Steve pretty much told us, pretty much told us what the fire marshal and Somebody else. I don't know why. I had a lot of I guess some of them should just be torn down.
So I'm going to make a motion at five hundred thousand. So it comes up at five hundred ninety-three thousand plus five hundred thousand for the appraisal. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Okay, gentlemen, we're going to adjourn this meeting. Nobody go. So it's 8.03, I'm going to adjourn the meeting. All in favor? Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all.